partner any question until the matter of how many people have you slept with comes up. Like, yo, chill, who wants to discuss their body count? And are you open to that conversation? Well, on tonight's episode of Moons and Cuddles, my guest and I focus on the essence of body counts in relationship and why it is very necessary to thread cautiously when it comes to the people you have sexual intercourse with. I am Paulina Deda Okoku. This is Moons and Cuddles, and we'll be right back. Fashion. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, watching Mons and Cuddles here on Ghana Web TV. And as I introduced myself earlier, I am Paulina Deda Opoku. So yeah, anytime you see me in red, it means I'm in my full elements and things are about to get rough. So today we're discussing the essence of body count in a relationship and to help me do justice to today's topic, I have here with me my very good friend, Benjamin Alpha. He is a communication professional. Benjamin, you're welcome. Thank you. Okay. And to the lady in the middle, she is Perpetual Aqua, a former beauty queen. Peppy, you're looking good. Thank you. You're welcome to Moons and Cuddles. Thank you. Okay. And I have with me Dr. Gideon Asan. He is a doctor at the Achimota Hospital. Doc. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, so today we're going to talk, we're going to go into it. And I know you're going to give us the medical aspect of the topic and the discussion. So I think it's, we can kickstart the show. Okay, great. Baby, let me start with you because they say ladies first. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so this is for you. I just want to find out, do you get offended when the question, are you a virgin is being posed to you? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, so from the opposite sex, of course. Um, no, I don't get offended. Mm. Yeah. Because I'm an adult, so I, 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 I made that decision myself. So I don't see the big deal out of it when someone asks me from the virgin. So maybe based on the people you've had encounters with. Okay. Have. So that is different. If you ask me the number of guys I've slept with, it's, it's, it's a bit awkward. Okay. Then you ask me if I'm the virgin. Uh, definitely when I tell you I'm not a virgin, it means you yeah, have had sex. But when they ask me the number of guys I've slept with, I, I, I don't know, but I feel that question is a bit personal. I get no. it. Most ladies feel same. Yeah. Most ladies do feel same. Ben, mm -hmm. so here's the thing. Uh, some people say they want virgins. Others do say they want a pro, a girl who's been around. So yeah. with you as a person, <laughs> as a young gentleman, when you go in and into a relationship what do you look out for you know some people who are just hunting for virgins i don't know yeah. if they find them that will yeah. ask them later but with you what do you prefer yeah well as as far as that person is healthy <laughs> that person is a, a full-blown woman adult able to give consent for sex okay that person i find that person compatible to my personality mm. uh, that person has the character the look and everything about her i like it for me, it really doesn't matter. I do not ask whether you're a virgin or not. If I find out that you're a virgin, that's okay. If you're not a virgin, that's also okay. Because I don't think that the value I come to add to my life in the relationship depends on your virginity or not. In any case, all of us are adults. Mm -hmm. We have been around, we may have done things, and it will not be fair for me to hold you to a standard that if they put me through, I will not be able to stand. Or I will not come out clean. And so I don't think that um, the question of a woman being a virgin right now as it stands, for me and for a lot of guys, it plays a role. If you're a virgin, it's fine. It's perfectly okay. I'm not saying that if you're a virgin, there's anything wrong. It's perfectly okay. okay. But as a basis or as a requirement for a man to place a value on you, for him to enter into a relationship with you, I, I, I shudder to think if a lot of men consider that or put that right. into But that one thing I... Uh, people say is that for a young man, whilst it's just a relationship, they want the pro. They just don't want, you know, someone who knows yes. who's been around. Yes. So, so the fun is assured. But when it gets to marriage, then you people are looking for virgins. Why you do that? No, no, but it's not. It's Why not you? A, uh -huh, Pepe said I should. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. so speak on their behalf. No, Why you guys a, do that? It's not a, a fast rule that applies to all men. Mm -hmm. So there are people that, out of experience, they think that if people are virgins yeah they are quite afraid of sex and they make things difficult and they want to have a very sexually fulfilling marriage life 
So for them, because of the difficulties of having a sexual affair with a virgin. Difficulties? Yeah, can you give us? Is it difficulties? Yeah, so, so I'm saying <laughs> I'm that I'm sharing people's experience. So I will okay. not be able to go into details. But the point is that people think that if the person is a virgin, yeah. in terms of uh, making the sex life uh, more pleasurable or more nicer, they okay. do not have the experience. And that these are people that are afraid of sex. These are people that cannot, you know, do all of the things that makes it exciting. Okay. You understand? So right. for those people, they think that they want to have a very pleasurable sexual life. And they think that they can find that in people who are already sexually exposed. All right. There all are right. others too that think that, well, if my woman is too sexually exposed, um, if the woman is too sport, in quotes, you understand? And so they want somebody who is a, who is a, a novice at it so that they themselves will impose their sexual ideas on this kind of woman and they will, will be they will be able to teach that woman through the marriage what sex is okay. so it is not a fast rule that apply to all men that men can date any other woman but when they are going in for marriage they go in for a virgin it's not a fast rule okay. like all right gideon so if you meet a young girl and you start talking to can you determine if that girl is a virgin without any physical touch? Maybe. You know, there's a people that you smell like a virgin. Like, it's all over you. Can you determine that without any physical touch? <laughs> you can't. Uh, no, no, I, I don't think you can. No, before that, let me even... Hey, Alpha, you sure some men cannot determine it? No, you can have an opinion, but you cannot be so sure. You can, you can, <laughs> you can look at the person's lifestyle. Maybe the person sat there so quietly. Um, <laughs> everything that you are saying about sex, it looks like it's, it's new. You, you, you will so, be surprised? Yeah, so, be surprised. Yeah, yeah, so you can connect the dots and say that, I think this person is a, virg a virgin, or this person is a pro or anything like that. But you can never be sure. No, but Paula, yes. with the issue of whether men want virgins or not, I'm not a student of statistics and I am not a pro when it comes to research. Okay. But I can tell you in all honesty that about 70 to 80 percent of men probably are not even looking for virgins. Hey, sir. Yes. Hey, so with the virgins, what do you do with their lives? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there are two schools of thought. Okay. There's that school of thought that says that virgins are difficult to handle. We are not. You understand? And then when, a, when, a, when a man is. <laughs> no, wait, Pepe. No. Why, why are you giving me that? No, I can't say a virgin. <laughs> I'm not trying to say. I'm telling you on the oh. show. I can't lie. So, you know. oh, yeah. so, how do you know they are not complaining if you've never been to it? Uh, 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 Let's no, no, but, but, but that is what I have heard. I have not you been there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not to that virgins are difficult to handle. All right. And so the people who do not like virgins are not ready for that adventure. Of okay. Where should I hold? Where should I hold issues? Right. Like you know, Peppy made. Uh, she she told us that going straight forward and asking her, "Are you a virgin?" can be offensive to her. So on. as a man, how do you put it? If you want to find out, maybe your lady hasn't been with any man. How do you put it without just going straight? Are you a virgin? No, but any man mm -hmm. who asks a woman, "Are you a virgin?" and the woman feels offended means that that man has not established a, report, a rapport with the woman yet mm. hey. and, and i feel personally that as a man it's not right that you meet somebody in the first few days and all of a sudden are you a virgin yeah. you know yeah. there are a lot of conversation why what are you using it for it's okay. you understand so so far as i am concerned there's what we call rapport establishment mm -hmm. you, you, you've, met, you've met a girl you want to establish nice rapport yeah. Talk about something. There are lots of things to talk about. <laughs> Where from this virginity, you understand? And then you play. So at a point in time, if you are smart enough, you can chip in. The girl will not feel offended. Okay. I mean, so it's about how you put it at yes. the right time. Yes. All right. Pe Pepe, so this one, as a woman, I know most of our sisters lie about being virgins. I must tell you. So <laughs> a friend was making me believe that she is a virgin until she got pregnant. <laughs> so yeah, I know she's not married. But then why do most ladies lie about their virginity status? Well, I, I feel um, the kind of response they get from the opposite sex. Um, let's say when someone asks you if you're a virgin and you say, no, I'm not a virgin. They're like, like hey, okay. so like you're having yeah. sex and yeah. all. And some, some people feel it's, it's a personal decision, so you should stay with me. So whatever thing I'm doing outside it, it has nothing to do with you. So whether I'm a virgin or not, I should keep it to myself. So the moment you ask me, even if I'm not a virgin, I'm tempted to say I'm a virgin. You are, I'm not. So I feel 
it, it, it's quite time people mind their business and don't go about asking people if you're a virgin or if you're having sex. Well, if the person is outdoors, I feel they should give the person the space to make her own decisions as if they want to have sex or if they want to stay being a virgin. Okay. So, Ben, when you meet a girl who lies about her virginity status mm. and finally you, you get to find her, like, okay. So, yes, of course, if she tells you she's a virgin, you know, you are moving on. You know mm. that finally, when we settle down, tell her I'm going to break a virgin. Yeah, finally, yeah, finally. Yeah, and you get to know that she's not how are you gonna receive the whole thing okay so from, from a very personal perspective mm -hmm. i'm never going to come to the point where i ask you if you're a virgin or not i have not done that you understand i've not done that. unless you are my sister or i mean i'm a pastor and you are my but if i want to enter into a relationship with you i am 99 percent of the time not going to you know ask you that question okay um but i think that for women that portray that kind of impression mm -hmm. to men for which the men use it as a basis for committing to them they will be doing the men a lot of disservice because i tell you what even though we are saying that virginity doesn't matter there are a faction of men a few percentage of men that when they find out that a woman is a virgin they become more committed they become yeah. They feel like yeah this is it you know the trophy exactly they, they place value on it there's a there's a percentage of men out there yeah, we, we won't dismiss that and so if you are not one and you portray that you are one okay you understand you are you are um you are pretending okay you are putting the man under a, a false impression and for which if he later finds out there can be varying consequences the love can reduce the it can be a, there can be a lot of things. Imagine if a man decides to settle down with you because he finds out that contrary to all the women he has been with, you are a virgin. And on the sole basis of that, he decides to settle down with, with you. Only with, for which, which, which foolish man is that? Yes, but, yes, <laughs> but there are percentage of men that are looking out for yeah. the only reason why they are going to settle with yes. a man is because the yeah. woman yeah. is a virgin. Yeah. You, yeah, you cannot dismiss it. There are some men that feel that Yes, I want to marry a virgin, and for them it is a trophy. That's the only reason. Yes, and the, and the basis for which they want to settle down with you, because they feel like if you are going to be my wife, then nobody else should have had an intercourse with you, even though they have had several that, that, sexual. So, so I know some some traditional yes. men, uh, they are rich men. So when, when they are settling, in, they want virgins. Mm. Yes, in, in if you go to parts of Nigeria, it's, it is there. Mm. So those men are just looking out for virgins. Mm. It happens. Yes. yes, to marry. Yes, to marry. Okay. Yes. There is a popular actress who said she married her husband as a yes. virgin and her husband to confirm that he yeah. does virgins. But I can tell you that yeah. a lot of millennials, contemporary men, it is not an issue. If you select 100 men, maybe, let me exaggerate and say 10, would, okay. would be thinking about the virginity when they want to settle down with a woman. There are a lot of things that move men that, and would push them to want to settle with you more than, more than the virginity they can find you in the club and, and settle with you and they can find somebody at the church <coughs> who is very pious and and a virgin and all of that and will not settle with that person those okay. the factors for marriage there are a lot of other priorities more than virgin virginity is actually not in it at all all for right. a lot of men all right yeah so once you are in a committed relationship you are with someone that you're down for are you bothered or do you wish to find out the person or previous person they, they slept with do you look out for that with ladies, I, I, I baby. Personally, I, I, I don't ask. You don't. I ask. don't mind, um, because whatever thing you did was in the past. Okay. The moment um, we are both interested in ourselves, we want to be in a relationship. We have tests to see we are both clean. And we want to have a relationship. Whatever thing you did in the past doesn't really bother me. I don't really care. So um, I'm good. It's your past. So. Just very thing where I also have a past that I am praying to bury. So I don't see the reason why <laughs> we should we should go dwelling in the past. Yeah. Okay, G G Gideon, do, do you find out? You just want to know. Okay, whom did you have sex with? Who did you have anything to do with in the past before meeting me? I am, Are you I am not interested. You are not interested. By per chance, I get to know. Then the body's physiology will end up reminding you of the person's past. Let me tell you what I'm trying to, to, to say. If Pepe is my girl, and I don't mm -hmm. know who Pepe has slept with, I don't care. 
Okay. And once I get to know that Pepe has <laughs> slept with <laughs> Alpha before, then anytime I have something to do with Alpha, I am tempted to ask about Alpha. Hey, the Alpha is it okay? Is it similar? Like you understand? And that's the main reason why I feel that it's not important at all to even look at the person's past, so far as I am concerned, especially the sexual, the person's sexual okay. exuberance and everything that your person has done before. All right. Because if you don't know, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. But if you know, it, it probably will hurt you. Okay. All right. Great submission there, Gideon. But we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll hear Alpha's submission on whether or not he's interested in finding out whom their partner had sex with before they met them. So we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Nanama McBrown. I'm proud to be part of Ghana Web Road Safety Campaign. Please do the right thing. Save a life. Brim. Hey, welcome back to Moons and Cardos here on Ghana Web TV. Now remember that the show is brought to you by Cheesy Pizza. Cheesy Pizza has all you want from juices, smoothies, jollof, fried rice, spag, and meatballs. We have great deals for you all week round. Cheesy Pizza gives you cheesy combo every Monday and Thursday. With only 49 CDs, you get one small pizza, fries and chicken, one Coca-Cola at all branches. Tuesdays are Super Tuesdays at all cheesy branches. Buy your Super Family Pizza at half price every Tuesday for 40 CDs at all cheesy pizza branches. Be a part of the Midweek Bonanza every Wednesday. Buy and get one free at all cheesy pizza branches. And also remember to start your weekend with special jollof and fried rice from cheesy pizza branches every Friday. Call 026 433 nine seven to place your order the number again is zero two six four one three 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 nine seven to place your order cheesy pizza your pizza your way all right so before we went to that quick break i was going to ask you alpha so when you enter into a relationship do you ask your partner the person that they have slept with before they met you does that really matter to you not at all not at all i do not ask of the person they have slept with mm -hmm. before entering into the relationship. Okay. What most people concern themselves with, and maybe I would also concern myself with, is the kind of relationship that exists between you, eh? that is the partner that you're going to enter into the relationship with, okay. and his or her ex at that moment. All right. Because that, that kind of relationship can be very very incidental to the success of your relationship and i feel like anytime that somebody or at that point where somebody is asking you about the number of people that you slept with before the start of a relationship that relationship is starting on the footing of mistrust because hey, he's fine. already looking at yes because he's already he's already anybody that asks that question is coming from a place of um anxiety mistrust about your past affairs if your partner's uh, mind is in the past and is thinking about things that you have done in the past and is thinking about who you have slept with and all of that it is very likely that throughout the relationship he, is, he or she will also be thinking about who you are doing something with mm -hmm. in the relationship too you understand but some so, tell me that but you said that the past is not the future right? yeah, <laughs> the, future, the past is not the present so let's look so, forward so i, so I feel uh -huh. like i feel like in terms of sexual relationship who you have slept in who you have slept with in the past or yeah. had an affair with in the past should not matter however the relationship between your ex right um and yourself as at that time that you are so entering the is, is, is important all right because we all know that there is a certain uh, level of affinity that you still maintain some people still maintain with their exes, the exes. even after 
So you must convince yourself that this person is has totally weaned off that affection. Okay. He's totally done with that ex and that he does not have the tendency to want to go back and want to stoke any like more feelings or anything like that. <laughs> you understand? Right. And so that is All important. Right. But for sexual number of sexual don't reasons, go back. Not, yes. All right. So I'm just gonna throw this general question. Uh what number could be attached to a man or woman who can be considered a oh this person there you have been around hey, multiple sex partners. Hey, what number? Hey, if, if you are trying to put something to it, hey, hey, let me go first. Go first, first of all, uh -huh. I think even before we started this discussion, we we're saying it. I don't know if you people went for a general meeting and agreed. All Ghanaian women have had two sexual partners in the past. In fact, at most they will say three. Even the third one, it was false. He really didn't like it. Okay. This thing, I'm sure that if we interview hundred men. 90 of them will say that they've heard the story before. That Happy. It looks it, like, ladies, we've been exposed. Yes, but, but, but that is what it is. They will tell you that, oh, it's just two. Two. And that, you know, the at most, they will say three. And that the third one, or even one of them crying. He, he really didn't like the guy, and they forced him, and all of them, and all of them. And so that should tell you that uh -huh. um, for women, they place um, some, they think that men place value on the number of people that they've had an affair with. And so, and that is why most women under declare their previous sexual affairs. But so one number can be considered as this one you just had multiple sex partners. One number. If 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 if, if you are putting a number to it. Dog, let me give you this one. Oh, the word multiple is English. <laughs> more okay. than one is multiple. Uh -huh. All right. So for me, two or more, you are into multiple sexual partners. I don't know how best I can put it. Baby. Well. <laughs> I don't disagree with what he said. He <laughs> doesn't right disagree with what he said. But the thing is, when you ask a guy the number of sexual partners he has had in the past, he can actually say um, 10, 12, 15, or even more. But when you ask the lady and the lady says three, hey. they actually look at you in a weird <laughs> way, like three. So right. there's no amount of men you mention to a guy that wouldn't feel you've been used or you've been around sleeping with guys. For a guy, they feel it's an achievement, but for a, a lady, it's it's not the same story. It's true. So I feel like, just keep it private, because even if I tell you two or three or four, like, no matter the figure I'll mention to you, you're still going to have your perception at the back of your head. So why don't you stay away from asking that question? No, okay. but you have to answer the question. I'm interested in your answer to Paula's uh, question. No, okay. How, how many, you ask how me many, a direct how many question? You please, please, no, please. How many, please. I am I'm interested in that. You guys, no, but I'm giving my you answer. Very, no, you know, I'm giving my answer. I was quite specific. How many men you would you one? consider as too No, it wasn't a direct question to me. Well, Paula, did you ask? Did no, you ask? Paula, did you ask? I am giving my honest opinion. How many women have you said? I'm asking the question. Paula, what is the question? For a man or woman to be considered, oh, you've been around. Yes. How many men or women? Okay. My day, my, no, you, you, know. you ask that multiple sexual partners. Yes. That's you know, let's, let's remove the multiple. For you to be considered that like you've been around, you've been on the blog for a while. Uh, yeah. You know, for I, I, like like um, Pepe said, for men, I don't think I don't know. I'm not a woman, so I don't know the perspective of women. Mm. But I don't think that women find it so objectionable when a man says that I've had 10, 12, 15. I don't even think that men really talk about it. I mean, very smart men would find a nice way of handling that question without putting their figures to your face. I know you're a smart man, so how, you, how do you put it that way? <laughs> <laughs> without putting the figures to your face. But, like what he's, he's saying, it's, uh -huh. not the same for, it's not the same for women when they are telling men. And I can tell you for a fact, I mean, we need to be very, very candid here that if you tell a man two, maybe we think that three, yes. You say five, and above. No, you told them the actual figure twelve. You tell you tell a man actual yeah, figure actual twelve. Figure, yeah, which we try to cut it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Five. You see, for, for a man asking that question, uh -huh. it means that the numbers are important to him. Oh yeah. So if if I can tell you that if you are mentioning numbers like double figures, hey, sister, then, you've been on the blog. Yes, then then that man is the man can pretend and say, oh, I don't even care. I was just, just asking you and all of that. But, but either he will hit and run, yeah. or in the middle of the relationship, he would 
you would you would put it to your face. Yeah. When there's a small disagreement you over you, you've even yeah, I said, I said exactly. a lot of things. Another one who said I was your have I have I been, <laughs> have I even complained? Okay. You know between I you and I, who has done a lot of things and all so, that. So so based on what you're saying, it's true that whatever you say will be used against you. That's why yeah. most women say, "Oh, too, you are my thing." I yeah. get that. But dog, should you be alarmed if your partner has been around? More than body count, I am looking at something like is the person having any medical condition as a result of sleeping around mm -hmm. so probably a non-medic will be looking at the numbers yeah somebody will be looking at 10 this is too much 12 this is too much for, but for me 10 12 and there is no medical replication to it it's fine but then even if it's two and then you have a sexually transmitted disease out of it then i am worried you understand and so for me, more than body counts, I think what we should be looking at is, is the person coming into the relationship with an infection. You understand? And unfortunately, when people are in love, they do not really pay attention to those things. Who goes around asking whether you have uh, HIV? HIV? I mean, what answer are you expecting? <laughs> Can I meet Paula? I'm in love with Paula and I ask her. Do you have HIV? You understand? It's like, oh, HIV, I think I can work around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're <perfect. laughs> But perhaps, okay. perhaps uh -huh. what um, this conversation today is going to portray is that it is also important that yeah. in a relationship we get to know each other's um, status in okay. terms of the sexually transmitted diseases. We are learning. And so I feel that um, even though we are having fun aside, if people understand the need of knowing whether or not you have STI, it's yeah. extremely important. And there are a lot of STIs around today. I yeah, mean, Doc, I'll come to that. I have a whole, a whole list why people are not so much into the testing. We will delve more into yes. that when we get so, to so, so, so you understand? Yeah. So maybe, maybe, after mentioning double numbers, people being interested in whether the man or not will trust her. I mean, those things uh, is just for fun. But the nitty gritties of the whole thing, so far as I am concerned, should be is the person coming in with any infection yeah, okay. and that is what i feel that we should we should also pay attention to all right so body count is a real deal for some people including mm. me it is if i didn't say earlier <laughs> but if you meet a partner who you are down for you, you know we connect we vibe but then there are issues they've told you that okay this is the number of people I, i've been with and maybe not you are not bold enough to do the test as doc was saying how do you handle it so that it, it doesn't come back it doesn't come back and always play in your head that hey, my partner has said she's been with these kind of people how do you handle a partner who's got more body count maybe you have not told them all but you know how rumors spread not even like rumors sometimes you are in a space you're in the same neighborhood with a lady with a guy that's what the area people are saying they say this person do he's been around maybe no 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 for something like that, how do you handle it? Because some people can tell you, that, oh, you are with this girl, somebody that are all the area people, they've all smashed. So if you find yourself with such a person, how can you handle it best? Uh, one, one thing I can say is that, mm -hmm. well, I know I don't like this whole body count thing, you asking me and all, but yeah. when you've been in a relationship with someone that your current partner might know, I feel it's important to open up and tell him, because let's assume you have been around and I have an ex who is my current boyfriend's friend or probably a relation and I don't tell you and you get to find out at the latter part of the relationship I, I believe things can get a bit messy so with me I feel even though I might not open up to tell you a number of men I've slept with I can tell you oh if you know this particular person I, I was in a relationship with him and things didn't work out and also if you are with a partner and you hear a lot of issues, like a lot of relationship style, people that have had sex with him, I feel you should find out why um, she finds herself in that situation. A lot of people go into sex for different reasons. Some ladies are very bad in making decisions. That's how come they get a lot of guys taking advantage of them. Mm -hmm. Some also go in because of their personal interest. Maybe they need money or assistance from them. A lot of girls also like to be around guys and they get used. Other girls also like sex. It's just the sex they And there's a medical condition that, pre that, <laughs> that predisposes him to be manic. Oh, And being there sexually is. excited. I mean, what is it called? Uh, the popular bipolar. You, oh, may, yeah. you may have 
a face that will make you sexually excited almost all the time. Okay. And so sometimes the man may think that he's having an easy meet. What he doesn't know is that he's taking advantage of somebody's oh. disease. Oh, I so I, I feel that men should not jump mm. always into having sex yeah. with a woman who easily opens up. Understand the, and understand, understand the circumstances. And every smart man doesn't take advantage of a woman. Let it be known everywhere that if you're a man, you don't take advantage of a woman because the woman has opened up. You understand? If the woman loves you genuinely, you are get to understand with time. And then you just don't... And some men even will even take advantage of a woman's broken relationship. Yeah. <laughs> and then whilst the consoling the man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but there's, something, there's something in addition to that. Uh -huh. I shall not to cry on a dick to ride on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I, feel, I feel it's not the best. Okay. So, Peppy was talking about the fact that, okay, maybe we're not saying you should tell him all the people you've been with. But, for instance, if your partner, you happen to be in the same space, office, neighborhood, church, Alpha, should you declare your asset? Okay. I think we need to make a distinction between number of exes a number of sexual affairs. It's the sexual affair. You know, Good. So, if you've Good. had so, a relationship. No, so, so, so that, um, I'm coming to fit it into the answer. I think that you need to let your partner mm. or the one that you are coming to enter the relationship with um, have an idea of the number of excess you have had. <laughs> um, not, 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 not because you are declaring um, the number of sexes you have had, but especially if those people are around, those people that there are people that he can easily find out. Okay, if those people are consigned into the past, I don't think you should bring it up. Mm. But if Let's are, bury the past. Yes, but if there are people that is very likely that he or she is going to know about, I think that it is fair that you make sure that the person is not shocked when he later finds out and that you declare that. So as for excess, you must have a conversation as far as the people involved are people that he can easily find, he or she can easily find out. Oh, okay. But in terms of number of sexual affairs... And no DM phobia. Yes, I don't think that's important. But um, you asked the question about how it should be handled when you find out. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that the first best, the first and best way is not to try and find out at all. What are you finding out for? What are you looking for? You understand? What are you looking for? I, 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 when when there is for. something more important to look exactly. so like going to test your STI. Yeah, hey, so, yes. no, yes. <laughs> STI is, is important. Mm -hmm. So and, and I sometimes people say that I want to find out the number of sexual partners because I want to know whether you have a uh, propensity yes. to STIs and all yeah. of that. Doc has told us it's not the numbers that um per se that say anything. There can be one indiscriminate sex, you just had one, and that's what will give you the exactly. STIs. So I, I feel that, number one, don't even try and find out. If you connect with the person on a lot of levels, you find sense in the person, the person is compatible, you like the person's character, the person is beautiful or handsome, you feel that this is somebody that mutually the two of you can, you know, develop yourself and all of that. And there's a potential of all of you uniting your personalities and marrying or anything like that. That, that should be enough, all right? But if you accidentally chance on that information i think the best thing to do is to focus on the positives okay. is to focus on the positives right. and and not to dwell on that all right, all right. So, uh, so so Peppy, if, if if your guy ever dated your friend a family member or even a best friend do you feel like they should let you know about it yeah why not you know it's better to tell the truth than to keep a lie when you tell me and I'm aware of it, there's no way I can find out later and be hurt or be disappointed. But the moment you don't tell me and I get to find out on my own, probably the circumstances in which I might find it, I might not be happy or okay with it. Mm. And things might get a bit rough. And it's true because a lot of people use it, might use it against you. Yeah. Once a guy finds out that, oh, you are with my friend. Oh, does he know oh, we had a thing? Did exactly. he, does he even know you aborted a baby for me? It's so seen. in order not for them to blackmail you and say, okay, if you don't let me have some, I'm going to tell your man. Mm. Just tell him. Exactly. If he wants you, he will stay. As Pepe stated earlier, it's in the past. And yes. so it should remain there. Yes, so yeah. our advice to me, if I ever find myself in that situation, I'm going to tell my man that, okay, I had a thing with your friend. I dated your cousin 50 years ago. Yeah, but, but more okay. likely than not, mm -hmm. more likely than not, if the woman or man is very serious about you, he would say it. Mm -hmm. 
he will tell you. Yeah. He he or she sees a future with you. He's very emotional. So when women especially start declaring those things, you the man should know that you are in for a very committed relationship. Yeah. If he start telling you that you know what, I have something to tell you. And that I have done this, I have done me. I won't even welcome that conversation. It's okay. I, I like no, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I, what, I what, you, what you don't know doesn't exactly, exactly. You don't know exactly. Kill you. But, right. but once, especially a woman is declaring that, then you know that this woman is taking you to yeah. the point where she's very serious but about please, you. Please, what's your Don't go and say something that you will come and say that you've been a, know what to say. <laughs> yeah, so, so let, let me just give you this one. Why do you think that most people who have sex with their partners, maybe in a new relationship, without testing? Like, why? Because we know all these diseases mm. are there, HIV is real. But then, we are not doing the testing. How is it so? And I think that they are not doing, but you as a doctor, are more people walking in they are not the doing HIV it. test? <laughs> they are not I think doing it's common knowledge that they are yeah. not doing it. They are not doing yes. it. Yeah. Oh. Ah, so, they are coming to relationship. Uh, something to do in a relationship and yeah you know it's, it's a relationship and then at the end you're gonna have sex I, I don't mean to catch you but yeah you see when they start and they know we haven't been to testing we don't know our status mm -hmm. we start using condom one two three the fourth one like yeah, oh, yeah, you're, already, you're already cool yeah. with each other so why should we continue using yeah, seed so by the time you realize they are off doing it without seed yeah. uh -huh. which is very very it, it's dangerous true. you usually start with let's protect ourselves yes. for the first time i don't know why it make you feel like i'm more responsible exactly then you lose that and then <laughs> and, when, and when it comes to stis the ordinary Ghanaian thinks hiv is mm. I mean, and the stigma alone associated with HIV is, I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't make people, it doesn't make it appealing to go and check. I know a friend mm -hmm. who has told me categorically clear that if I dare <laughs> hey. test his HIV status or that is consent, you see him. Oh. I mean, I don't, I to, no matter what you tell the person that there are drugs for it, they, no, no, he's not interested. They don't want to know. Understand? So for some people, it's because of the stigma and they just don't want to know. And because when it comes to STIs, the top of their list is HIV. Is I think people are, are afraid. So that we advise that we get, get a test. In fact, in fact HIV STIs. Is, is better than some some other diseases. In all honesty, other diseases like oh, well, I I don't want to to say it, but, yeah, but then in my own pocket, I am rest assured that there are some diseases that people have around that even HIV is better. Thank you, Doc. But I don't want to mention some names before some people get scared. Fine. Okay. Okay, so as Doc has said, you should get tested. There are some diseases that are more deadlier than HIV is, which most of you people fear. So once you know you're getting down with your partner, please get tested. Right, so we'll take a quick break here. When we come back, Moons and Cardinals continues. From the dawn of time, people have engaged in several businesses. With the onset of technology and innovation, life has relatively been made easier. By using debit or credit cards. Mobile banking. Thank you. And your favorite mobile money? Tech has indeed married business. On BizTech, we spend time with faces behind known and upcoming businesses in the country. Learn more about the new technologies and innovation. As well as find out about the trending issues in the world of business. Join us as we serve you with a variety of compelling interviews, projects and others right here on Ghana Web TV. Welcome back from that quick break. I am Paulina Deda Opoku and this is Mons and Cardos on Ghana Web TV. Now, my makeup, you know, I was glammed by our very own Kiki Sadiq. So you can follow her on Instagram. She's Kiki Sadiq on Instagram. So for all occasion, Kiki Sadiq has got you. Now, before we go, we're talking about this whole body count and how some people say, okay, your partner, you've been around and it's a big deal. So here's the thing. At the end of the day, are we, what we are looking forward is to establish how to handle the whole thing. So you've been faced with the thing, you are in a relationship, we've all said that it doesn't matter and all that. But how do you handle it? 
how do you handle a person who has got body count? With me, I think it's alarming. As Doc said, you can, you should get tested for all these sexually transmitted diseases. But Anafa, how would you handle it? Um, first, I think that if it is a true love relationship, mm -hmm. the affection of love will handle the situation itself. Yeah. Okay. So if you love the person, more likely than not, you will not have a problem with it, even if you are exposed to that kind of information. All right. So if it is a true love relationship, you will not. I, I, I know that people have upbringing that may make them prejudicial to um, sexual affairs. That makes them so judgmental that if you have had a lot of sex, then you are sport and all of that. But I feel like once there is true love involved, people will look beyond that. Okay. But the, the thing too is that, like I was saying, um, you need to focus on the positives. When you have encountered that information, you think it is going to worry you. Yeah. We all go into relationships because there are certain factors about that person that you like. You understand? That person fits a certain profile. So being, having, the person having a lot of body count or having had a lot of sexual partners should be the list of the issues that should be on your mind at every point in time. Because, because, like Doc has told us, once there are no STIs involved, I mean, what is it? We don't want to go into details and sound a bit vulgar, but, but uh, you can still have the sex with the, with the person. The thing is there. And you can give head, you know. And God, God in, in, in his own infinite wisdom, has a way of recycling it and making it fresh all the time. <laughs> okay. You understand? Fresh so I, I think that you must focus on the positives, all right? And if there is true love involved, the affection of love will take off that information so that it will not matter. All right. Papi, you know, when it comes to us women, we're much concerned about personal hygiene, going down the, the vagina. It's not even about being tight, but you know that you're confident that you don't have any infection and all that. So for a woman who's been around, right, what would you recommend that you do? Some say you stay off sex for a while if you want the whole place to heal and at least get to its normalcy. Would you recommend anything? What are some of the remedies? Well, be before I even talk about the remedies, when a lady realizes that she has had multiple um, body counts, mm -hmm. sexual partners, and she's willing to go into another relationship, yeah. my question is, is she willing to let everything go and move forward? Or is she going into a relationship with um, expectations that if she doesn't meet up to these expectations will be going around looking for satisfaction elsewhere. elsewhere but if she's going to leave everything behind and just move on that's okay but before you want to move on i will advise you go check on yourself if you have any stds you there are some that are treatable if you have to treat it you treat it and make sure you are okay before you go into a relationship you wouldn't want you wouldn't want to go into a relationship where um well you might not have a permanent std that you have to take with like you have to live with for life you might have some that is treatable but if you don't treat it and you go into a relationship and you find your partner embarrassing you at certain certain points in time i i feel it, it will it will your confidence crowd. You yeah, lose your confidence time. in a way. So if you know you've been around, just treat yourself before you move forward to another relationship. Mm -hmm. That's I mean, what I can just say. treat yourself like how you know you have popped. We have uh, I don't want to say the rest, but then well, ladies know what for, they do. Uh, but, but mm -hmm. I really am permitted to come. Yeah. Please yes, come yes, in, dog. But I, can, I can assure you mm. that about ninety-five percent to ninety-nine percent of the vaginal tightening creams you hear around are not true i don't even like it I like only, it. They, they don't work they, they don't work uh do they work for people you? have people have only yeah, yeah, okay. so i, I, I have have never yeah. tried yes. it yes. They, i don't think i, I don't, don't so wait, it, but people have tried it. it and they confess on tv who, and who confess the okay. woman herself thank you that it has become tighter oh no people say it on tv no i'm saying that is it the woman who is saying that it has become tighter yes how did the woman get to know that it's become tighter no 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 no
So it's the madness of that. One of the one of the. see any juma. Say you want to medical school. For me, that's a me. I'm just. I've had people. I've had it. So I want to. No, no, no. Have you experienced it? I have not. Okay. The point I'm making is that there are people who have. Testify to that. You see, so I am bringing that testimony to you for you to be able to be strong in your defense of your point. No, no, but 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 Paul, see, I I am a medical doctor and I know that the only way to treat hernia is through surgical means. But I have sat in Trotro where the man finished talking about herba and I nearly bought some. I'm not joking to go and try to see. See, if you are talking about people who talk about products, who can advertise, and then you are talking about because Instagram. of that, you see, I am looking for people who are genuine, who are close to me, yeah. and I have used it. So that's why I'm asking Paul that yes. if you <laughs> know, you see, if you are going to listen to people who talk around, mm. you'll be shocked the things you will believe yourself, and that is why there is scientific basis for a lot of things. Okay. One thing I believe in trying to tighten your vagina Sit on hot water. is uh, yes, Sit hey, on hot water. Work. two. We have what we call the Kegel exercises. You understand? You know what a Kegel yeah, exercise is? You know, yeah. you know, when, when, when you feel like peeing, you try to hold it. Okay. You know, those are the little, little things you can, even that, I can assure you that there's no 100%. You understand? And so those tightening cream, now with 500 Ghana. I mean, when I hear they them, have oils, they have the one that used to massage. In fact, it was very, very quiet. So when those people get, and it will be difficult for them to go back to the people that sold it to them. them say, yeah, so you, 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 so you scout me for my dad. Yeah. 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 And, and yes. they write your name in the newspaper yes. that I thought, my woman fight with so the people, See, the people <laughs> advertising around, me, they, I'm scared of them. Mm. Because they have what it takes to convince even the professional in that field. Mm. So if you're not careful, you become too vulnerable. Mm. But today, perhaps we've learned again that me, this vagina. I'm sure some of them might be watching us and be laughing. It's like, if you don't, you don't know, know, you don't know what's going on. Well, the best, times, it, the best process my mom taught me was mm -hmm. to sit on hot water. Oh, yeah, the hot water, it and does. I've, right. I've, Not I've done, just for the time, it, like, it makes you fresh. You know, sometimes after your menstruation, if you have infection and you are cheating it, the hot water does not. It's called a sit bath. Okay. Sit bath. Yeah. It's good. It works. Yeah. So. We can recommend it. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe one time I'll have a. A herbal, you know these people that they deal with herbal medicine, which they claim that these herbs help. I think one time I will bring, bring doctor. No, no, no. <laughs> I, 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 am <laughs> so, I am looking for that opportunity. Mm -hmm. I, I am young in the medical field, but mm -hmm. I am very, very passionate about things that are preventable, and we look, we look, we look away. You understand? Mm -hmm. So if you are bringing a herbal medicine, people. Don't be afraid to bring All me. Right. I'm come to share my knowledge. Okay. And I'll be glad Just to learn from them. Also. Look, I'll, I'll keep that. I'll keep that. So with people that were saying that if you've been around, not like being around like more multiple, like multiple sex partners, but then once you've had sex, maybe you are good in what you do and you meet a novice, like, you know, someone who's new and doesn't know. Mm. How do you introduce your sexual fantasies to your partner without making them, without bruising mm. their egos? You know, some people are like, okay, I know you know, if you eat me, if you give me this position, it works for me. Some people might feel like, where is all this thing coming from? Some even <laughs> eating up your woman, the, the whole licking. Some men are not open to that. So for someone who is a pro, let me just say a pro, mm. and you're meeting someone who does not even match up to your level, mm. What must you do? How, how can you go about it? So that you don't go back to that yeah, ex who I feel, dash I feel you like, I feel like this conversation is drifting more into sexual technicalities. Man. Which is <laughs> <but> let's, <laughs> let's, you let's, talk let's, about let's it. Let's talk about it. So, so I think that people must have um, honest and thorough conversation about their sexual life and their sexual experiences before every relationship. All right? So the, the person must tell you that, you know, this is what works for me. And you must also listen to the other side. If okay. you know that the person is green at it, then you must be very careful. You understand? And be very slow because any anything that somebody is new at, it takes the person time to adjust and all of that. Okay. So I think one of the reasons people find out and that there's a lot of sexual friction between partners or sometimes there are, there are sexual frictions between partners is because they've not spoken about it i feel like if you speak about it and you show them the right things to do and you tell them that okay you have had this experience and so you oh, must nice you must, try it you must go this way and all of that mm -hmm. i feel like it would it would it would help 
all right or it would go a long way to i'm not saying personally but <laughs> then if you meet a woman let's say you know me by the let's say if you met a if woman someone and she's someone <laughs> <laughs> not alpha <laughs> thank you meet a woman and the lady is like okay this is what works for me mm-hmm. as a woman you know i like, she wants to be in control not like being in control but what works for me as mm-hmm. are you open to that thing like hey it should be, be it should, it should be it should be mutual if what works for you works for me then we are game if what works for you doesn't work for me, then we must have, um, how do I call it, a middle ground. And it is about speaking about it and having a compromise. Perhaps what works for that woman that you think doesn't work for you may work for you, but you don't know. So the two of you must talk about it. Try and find um, a common ground. Try and see if, hmm. you know, what, what works for the other and doesn't work for one. The, the two of you can, you know, put it together and then make it work for you. You understand? Okay. A lot of the times we are in a people are in a hurry to please their Pardon. partners, but maybe it's not their thing. Yes, without I, actually thinking, okay, this thing, do I know how to do it? Okay. Is, is this something I'll be comfortable with? And then they end up, you know. Right. Uh, Peppy, so, so the same question to you. Well, I I dated a guy who was a virgin, and he was new to everything. How do you know? Because I dated him. How, many, how old was he? He's 31. He was a virgin at 31. He was a virgin at 31. We are few. Yeah, very Those, few. You we, know we these chess few. boys, they're, they're not really exposed to this kind of thing. You want to spoil it? At the point, I thought I was spoiling <laughs> 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 no, like, He always makes me feel bad. Nah, no. Like, it's but, but he was willing Charlie, to learn. He was willing to learn. How you able, to, 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 how you able to, to authenticate that he was a virgin? I'm very curious. You know, so we, we dated for a year and a half and this guy never spoke about it. Because sex. some people like he know, he, some people I know eh, who are not very far from there, can, they can pretend. So that's why he, he, was, like, like, had a, he wasn't <laughs> pretending. He, he wasn't pretending. <laughs> well, initially he was trying to act like he knows it, but... I, at a point, I realized, no, this guy, he, he, he's he, new he, in the he's game. New into yeah, 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 it. So I asked, I asked him, you just told me that she was like, well, he didn't want me to know, but he's never done anything. He didn't like know that. his way around the he highway. Didn't, he, he didn't know anything. <laughs> so we had to start <laughs> from, <laughs> from, we had to start from <laughs> scratch. <laughs> like, Elementary. well, honestly, at a point, I felt I'm spoiling him. And so I thought he, I was he too graduate. bad for him. He didn't graduate. Oh, at the point, he, he was, he was he graduated. getting better. Second but, class, first class. Or oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Maybe second class, Appa, Anna. Well, he, he tried. He tried. Yeah. But he didn't get first class. <laughs> oh, he tried. He tried. I beg. Thank you. I, <laughs> well, you see, I know you can't ask me the same yeah. question. <laughs> uh, first of all, the sexual field is a complex field. And people surprise themselves every now and then. There are lots of things that somebody said that made their name be that. And then when they got into the mood, when the auditions were taking were kicking in. They would do it for their life. They, they did it and over over did over did it, eh? Yes. So you see, it's, I am very skeptical when people start talking about what I want in sex, what I do. No, I feel that you should keep an open mind. Okay. Understand, and then um, when it is done and you don't like it, or when it's being done and you don't like it, then you can point it out that All hey, Charlie, right. this thing I don't like it. Right. So, but the final question I have for you on this episode, we just want to find out for someone who is watching us, a man or a woman who feels like my body count is exceeding, and does have dog, there are negatives to it. How do you handle such a situation? Advice if you don't want your no, uh, your body count to exceed the that, limit. That, that person? Yeah. It's, okay. it's just advice because we're all know. helping ourselves. And when you say the limit, yeah, I don't know if Ministry like... of Health has approved. <laughs> 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 but then someone who comes to the realization that I think it's a small, much. so I need to lean back and, you know, restructure. Yeah. How, how are you going to go I about that, it? I think that we are talking in the context of adults. Yes. Yeah. Every adult has a hold over his or her decisions okay and that as an adult if you get to the point where you feel that the number of sex you are having poses some form of danger or disadvantage mm-hmm. to your body both in terms of physiology and in terms of relationship issues and all of that i think that you have control over that and you would be able to exercise okay. a lot of discretion all in right. cutting down and all of that but the point is people do not place any ceiling because like we have already said, this is not something that you go and find a meter reading that there have, there have been 50 people on this highway. Yeah. You would, you would most often than not, just 
fall into the circumstance and then you allow things to take it in a track course. Mm. So, I mean, as adults, I think we need to be very, very selective and very, very careful with who we have it's an true. affair with. And that we should have an affair with people only when we are very convinced. That is, even if we do it at all. I mean, the ideal situation is that get settled and have an affair with your wife or your husband, mm. you know, but as human as we are and as, you know, reality, <laughs> we, we need to face the reality that we sometimes we'll get, <laughs> we'll get into the situation <laughs> where, where we are not able to return with our, with our <laughs> libido intact. So we discard it no, no. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but the point I'm making is that, uh -huh. the point I'm making is that if we are very selective and we are very careful and we are very, we have high control over that situation, more often than not, we'll get we'll go into marriages, we we'll go into marriage without not having a lot of body count. Okay. Because we we, 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 we yes, we, we put a ceiling, we just don't have okay. a fair anywhere and all, all of right. that. And people that have high body count that worries them are people that have indiscriminate and reckless sex. Yeah. Sure. Okay. The advice. Well solution. The little I can say is that um, as an individual you should know what you want in life. And in as much as we all have um, taste and preferences, sometimes we should limit it. And if you're looking for, you're looking for it to get married, you should just be focused and just move to that direction. Hmm. Because when you just want to have a relationship, you can go round and round and round, just increasing your sexual partners as time passes by and by the time you realize you want to settle down the, the number is far high that you might not be able to do something about it so we should be vigilant in making a decision when it comes to relationship and just be careful don't forget to test with your partners before getting involved sexually yeah and Pepe's preaching out about the testing doc advice solution to avoid this whole body count that we've been talking about you see, when I hear somebody with a lot of body counts, I get worried on two occasions. First one is the person an infomaniac. An infomaniac is somebody who is abnormally attracted to sexual his or her sexual desires. That person may need help. That person cannot fight it alone. Mm. Do you understand? And so, so with somebody with an increased body count, two things worries me a lot as a medical doctor. Or even as a human being, I mean, that, let, let me put it that you way. Can't help it. <laughs> yes. One, are you an infomaniac? I, I, do you battle it? Mm. Is it that one, every now and then you want to have sex? Is it that are you always such that if you are not, if you don't find the person, you are going to look for just anybody? Mm -hmm. That is a cause for concern, and that you must seek help, either from a clinical psychologist or a counselor. You know, if you, there are some people who know themselves, and they know that no. This is not normal. It's not normal. You understand? It's different from the people who are doing it for fun. There are some who it's gradually becoming a disorder. In that case, they need help. All right. Two, it's people who are harboring sexually transmitted infections that they don't even know about it. Mm. So I am not too worried about somebody who has a body count of 50 and does not have any STI. I am worried about that body, that person who has a body count of two or three and is harboring some gonorrhea, syphilis, trachomonas, vaginalis, oh, yeah. HIV. Those are the people I am worried about. Mm -hmm. And that is why I feel that this is important that we test. Now, I'll tell you that there is hope for almost all STIs. Any STI that is, that is seen early can be put under control. Name it. Okay. Any STI that is seen early can be put under, under control. control. Your HIV can be put under control. Your Hep B can be put under control. Your Hep C can be put under control. Your syphilis, your gonorrhea can Name be killed. It. All right. So there is no cause for alarm. And I don't understand why as a young person you are afraid to test. I don't understand. If there was nothing that could be done, I would agree with you myself. I would be afraid to, to go and test. But what if I tell you that there is hope? What if I tell you that the HIV you are so much afraid of, All the right. drugs now can even let you live longer than you expected so doc, doc doc is telling us our viewers our yes. regular viewers that you should get tested there's still hope exactly. that's it all right so finally just put out your social media handles where we can reach you 
Hey, hey, first, first, first. My social media handle uh -huh. is not. Um, I don't want followership personally. I want it for our YouTube channel. Okay. Dr. Hassan has a YouTube channel where you go, go and find more of this. He's done a lot of skits with Clemento Suarez and comic characters where they educate people on these health issues. Mm -hmm. It's called Health Cortez Ghana. So on YouTube, you find Health Cortez Ghana. Go and follow it. Click the notification button. There's a lot of interesting health content there. It's not the normal, regular health content I know that you know. Play, that's a In Instagram, Health Cortez underscore gh or something health yeah. quarters underscore gh you just okay. search health quarters ghana you find it um facebook same okay. and then twitter to same health quarters health quarters ghana just follow it all for right me. Yes. all right peppy well my instagram is yeah peppy just that that's it yeah, yeah so yeah yeah we go back miss ghana 2017 and all that so it, it, She's a, she's a real beauty queen and she's been grooming a lot of people. When you follow her, you see all the things that yeah. she's into. Dog, health contest Hold on, Ghana. Let, let, let <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Right, right. I want to say a very big thank you to you all for gracing the show. And okay. so, Cheese and Pizza has got something for you. So, yeah, yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. You can pass it to Pepe. Yeah. Thank you. Mm, get Cheese yourself pizza. some pizza and enjoy it. Thank, thank you. And also get your friends thank and loved ones you. to try Cheese and Pizza. All right, so... That's it for today. We've come to the end of Moons and Cuddles, where we've been discussing the essence of body counts in a relationship. But before we go, let me tell you what Cheesy Pizza has got for you. So Cheesy Pizza has all you want from juices, smoothies, jello, fried rice, spag, and meatballs. We have great deals for you all week round. Cheesy Pizza gives you McCheesy combo every Monday and Thursday. With only 49 cities, you get one small pizza, fries and chicken, one Coca-Cola at all branches. Tuesdays are Super Tuesday at all Cheesy Pizza branches. Buy your Super Family Pizza at half price every Tuesday for 40 cities at all Cheesy Pizza branches. Be part of our Midweek Bonanza every Wednesday. Buy and get one free at all Cheesy Pizza branches. And also remember to start your weekend with special jollof and fried rice from Cheesy Pizza branches every Friday. Call us on 026-413-3397. 026-413-3397 to place your order. Cheesy pizza, your pizza, your way. It's always a pleasure coming your way with Moons and Cuddles. Remember, I am Paulina Dedao Poco. I'll see you on the next episode.